Hi, my name is Alan Prost, and I'm going to introduce you to the Platinum Elite Series primary function testing equipment, as you can see right here. This includes a body box, as well as a spirometry and gas analyzing capabilities. So we can do all the major primary function testing right here. So the basic setup is we have a, a computer here, and all the required equipment is built right into the base of the unit. We've got our gas tanks here, we've got oxygen, we've got the uh, helium and our DLCO mixture so we can do all the basic tests such as nitrogen washout, DLCO, basic spirometry, we can do plasmigraphy as well as carbon monoxide uh, uptake and single breath nitrogen washout. So we've got a wide variety of equipment here. The heart of the unit is the gas analyzer that we can't see. It's built in right into the base there, but that's where all the gas analysis goes and all the pressure transducers are. But what we can see in the functional unit for our patients is right here, and this is the pneumotac, and this is the gas regulator. So when a patient is doing something like a nitrogen washout test, these valves will open and close, controlling the gases that the patient can breathe in. All right. So this is the heart of the unit right here, is our pneumotac. All right, I'll get you to come over a little closer to that. So here's our pneumotac. Now, the pneumotac is just a simple plastic device like this. You can see right through it. And that little resistance in there, created by those pieces of plastic going through there, creates just enough resistance that we can measure the pressure gradient as a patient is breathing through it. Through it. So that little bit of resistance, hooked up to a couple of pressure transducers built into the base of the unit here, allows us to measure flow rates, volumes, and, um, and pressures. The third little tube right here allows us to measure things like uh, the type of gas. So that's hooked up to our gas analyzer, and this will um, measure the oxygen concentrations, CO2, CO, and uh, calculates the nitrogen concentration. So it's important that we put this together properly. You can see there's some little notches here and here to make sure that we don't get this reversed. All right? Very important to line up the uh, little tubes with uh, the holes so that we don't break them off. That just snaps together like this. This part here is the part that connects to our patient. All right? And that hooks up right here like this. Now, this white um, rubber component right here can actually be broken down over time because these valves are going to be opening and closing. So it's important to make sure every once in a while you just open this up and check to make sure that there's no holes or rips in there. And you can see this one's getting a little aged. Now, when we're doing something like the DLCO or the nitrogen washout, these valves will close so that the patient will breathe through this regulator. The oxygen or the specialty gas for the patient comes from those cylinders over there and is controlled by the computer and the regulator. Okay, so that's why we need to be able to take a little look at this. All right. Now to protect our patient, we're going to make sure they use a filter whenever we're doing primary function testing. So we'll hook up a filter onto there. And right now what I'm going to show you is how to do our calibration. So when we're going to calibrate over here, and we're going to use the Breeze software. All right. Give that a second to fire up. And it's important that we know our, um, the temperature, the barometric pressure for today, and the humidity. All right. So we're going to enter the pressure and the temperature here. So it's, uh, it's actually 23.1 degrees right now. And our barometric pressure today is 661, and we got about 29% humidity. Okay. So in this screen, what it's showing us here is these different lines tell us what flow rates we need to achieve when we're doing the calibration. This device is a little bit different in that it does both a calibration and a um, verification at the same time. Okay. So we take in, we bring in our known volume. We've got a three liter syringe. Standard American Thoracic Society guidelines suggest a three liter syringe and we're allowed to have an error of plus or minus 3%. So I'm gonna just hook that on there like that. So I find the best thing to do initially is make sure you zero the pneumotac before you actually start doing the testing. Right. 
So give it a quick zero. And we don't want to hit the reset, okay? We'll just hit the start and that'll get us going, all right? And it tells us to withdraw. And what I'm gonna do initially is withdraw, trying to meet these different flow rates as dictated to me by the software, all right? So I'm just gonna draw back and that measures that very closely at three liters. Now it says inject, so we're going to inject. Now you don't need to match these lines precisely. They're guidelines to make sure that we calibrate and verify, verify over a range of flow rates, from very high flow rates to very low flow rates. So I'm just gonna do some of the higher flow rates right now. Okay. So it came in close. You can see these are three liters, and this is the flow rate along this axis here, right? So, now I'm gonna do some of very low flows. So a nice, smooth, continuous action is the best approach when doing the calibrations. Any little jerks or pausing in withdrawing the gas will cause it to trigger out, all right? So it won't pick that up as correct. So that was a very low inspiration flow rate, and now I'm gonna do a slow exhalation flow rate. using the lines as a guideline, right? See, there we go. And now I'm gonna do a moderate flow rate. Okay, just following the lines as best I can. And we're gonna inject now. So even though I've got one on each of the lines now, it still wants another one just to make sure that we've got it covered. So I'm just gonna do a kind of a moderate flow rate. And there we go, calibration success. Now this device is a little bit unique in that it combines the calibration and verification in one procedure. So now we just have to print up our results and put them into our data binder or our quality control binder, sign them off with the date and make sure we're ready to go, all right? So this is a really brief introduction to the Medigraphs Platinum Elite body box and calibration. Thank you very much.